Hi, today we are going to see the mixology class. Now I have kept the measuring cup and I have given the tar. So the bowl weight will not be considered. Now we are going to add henna powder. Now we are adding 30 grams of henna powder. For best quality henna, henna powder, uh, you can see the bright green color. Now I am going to use 5 filter henna powder. Now I have taken 30 grams of henna powder without offing the uh, measuring scale just give the tear button so that you can minus the bowl weight and then the henna powder weight. The next ingredient is sugar. I am gonna add 12 grams of sugar. While adding sugar be cautious. If you add excess amount of sugar it will reduce the stain. These are the two dry ingredients. Now we will give a good mix of the dry ingredients. While choosing the henna powder, kindly make sure you are using the great, good grade of henna powder. Now we are going to add the essential oil. Here I have taken 10 ml of essential oil. Before adding the essential oil, you should add it, uh, you should have to mix it with the water. Uh, now I am gonna mix with water to avoid the lumps. Add little amount of water and mix it well. Don't add too much of water, it will become watery. You should uh, be cautious while adding the water. After adding the water, mix it well without any lumps. Make sure you are mixing all the ingredients correctly. After mixing, now we are going to add the essential oil. If you add the essential oil at first, it, it will create some lumps. So we are adding the water first and then we are going to add the essential oil next. Now see I have mixed all the powders but here some of the lumps are still. So I am going to mix it well. Now I am going to add the essential oil. At first the essential oil won't be mixed with the henna powder but take a minute and mix well it will be blend like this after blend mixing it uh, you should be uh, mixing single direction that is uh, use any direction clockwise or anti-clockwise use spatula uh, it gives zero wastage from the henna powder see I am gonna mix in one side after mixing well you will get this consistency here we have taken the little amount of henna powder which is 30 grams while you are using a large quantity you can use whisker or blender according to the quantity for this amount we cannot add the blender so i am using the spatula now i have added little amount of water because the consistency is very thick so i am adding little amount and then i am mixing this in the same direction which i have uh, done at the first now I think I have attained the stringy consistency. Let me check once and I will show the stringy consistency. See, see the flow from the spatula. It's very stringy, right? It flows from the spatula to the bowl. Now I'm gonna give a good beat. See, I'm I'm doing it in a single direction, which I have started at first. Now I'm doing in the same direction. This gives you the correct st uh, stingy consistency uh, which will uh, reflect the no breakages of the lines. No, if you get breaks in the lines, it won't look good while you are drawing, right? So uh, this stingy consistency helps in uh, zero breakages of drawings. Now I am gonna clean the entire bowl and make it to, into the center. I am also cleaning the spatula. The next process will be the dialysis process. So you have to uh, clean the entire bowl and add some water uh, to avoid the dryness in the top of the uh, henna paste and add it everything to the center of the bowl. Add only little amount of henna powder to make the dialysis process easy and give small cuts in between. Uh, which makes the dry release process faster. 
after adding the water and the small cuts seal the container with a lid bye